Right, I've just got into a bit of the gardens. The door was open. And this is like a summer house up. I expect this pool was used. I expect this pool was used, don't you? There's a swimming pool under there. This is like makes up for not being able to go in the church, really. Going through the garden, it's a secret garden, isn't it? Into the secret garden where the aspidistras are. Because it's a Sunday, there's no workmen, there's no working gardeners, you see. Like I said, it's very much my ancestral homeland. All this. The secret garden. And you can tell it's it would be busy with workmen here normally. Because it's Sunday. People are going to garden parties, going to church, getting prepared for lunch. I'm recording this for history. This is recorded for history, all this. I'd like to find a coin or some treasure though, wouldn't it? I think this is some sort of chicken hut. Of course you can go in there as well, I've been in there. There's an old barn, an old wardrobe corner piece there. Very old desk. I wonder what's under the floor. Oh, loads and loads of cobwebs. Right, over and out for the video. We're just going to do a little bit more. I don't think I would have had this um, opportunity if there'd been a service on today. It would have been loads of cars, loads of people, and I would have got away later. So what, we, what I'm just doing now is um, I've had a look around the gardens. I spoke to two people that were sat on that bench a minute ago just to get some directions when I leave the lane. Because I know, like they said, there's a maze of lanes. I don't want to get stuck in a maze of lanes. I need to head for Newmarket straight away. Um, there's an avenue of trees. Somebody, somewhere I've got a lovely picture of that in black and white that somebody did, a photograph of that avenue in the winter. It's absolutely gorgeous. There, like I say, there is a track you can go down there. It joins up with the road down there. But I won't risk it, it might be too bumpy. There we have Dellum Hall. And a, a bishop of some sort had it once, and apparently he had three stories built, or three stories were there, so that he could look over at Eli Cathedral. That was just a bit of local history that somebody told me. But then it burnt. This is owned by some Arab apparently owns everything around here and they, these people just said that a new market would collapse if he ever sold up and moved out. So I think that's all the stables up there. And the actual main property I think is rented out. 
<sighs> yeah, so it's, um, yeah, they've never been inside the church, although they do the three churches walk quite often. They go to um, Moulton, Gaisley and Dalham. There's a three mile walk and there's a six mile one. Apparently they, uh, they don't actually visit the churches. So not everyone's into it like me. I've always liked churches, always. And in a strange way, I was being prepared by the ancestors to come and find the burial places of the ancestors. To come and find where we all lived. It's starting to get quite hot. I'm doing a little bit of video while I can. Now these, this building right in front of me, from what I can remember before, actually housed the horses. It was actually, it's probably been, it's probably residential now. It's probably, people are probably living there now. But when I first came up here, It was actually stables. The horses were in there. Oh. See, they have got CT cute cameras. Look, I think the Phillips family. I don't know if it's the ones that related to um, what you called <sighs> Princess Anne. Is that Phillips lot? Well, I've seen the Phillips bloke and looked just like her ex-husband once. I went in the pub for a drink, a shandy, and um, he, he was in there and he looked just like him. I can't remember coming up, I probably did come up to this gate. It looks like the original windows, there's some plastic windows though, or a plastic door. Just getting some more views. I don't come here very often. And um, you've just got to do what you can do. I mean, if there's cameras, they're not pointing everywhere, are they? I mean, oh, half the place looks empty. That looks, that looks empty in there. Oh. Yeah, that was stables. I'm sure it was. Please clean up after your dog. Maybe it's up for sale. Looks very empty to me. The old mansion. Oh yeah. Just seen a picture of a dog on the wall there. That's like a Great Dane. Wow, this is where I roughly I was a long ago. This is so important, you know, it wouldn't even matter if you came back at night. Look, this takes me back round to the Yeah, there were dogs kept here, I went there were dogs. This could be a type of kennel. And the big house seems to be empty. I've never got this close to it before. Wow, look at this everyone. This is Dulham Hall. I've never been this close before. I've never been this close before, ever. 
Things the dogs can pick up your scent, you know. Dogs can pick up your scent. You can probably go right round it that she doesn't know the end. Look, you can go right round it. There are cameras, mind. Um, the summer house over there, look that I was in earlier here's the lovely lawns looking over to the church all the rooms are empty so it's a good job I came, wasn't it? look at the lead piping going up for the drains still I mean, it's been done up, maybe it's for sale the basement down there, look. Wow, look at this. This is the closest. I don't know, I think I might have walked. I might have walked this way before. I don't know where the camera... The only thing is, I'm not doing any harm. I'm doing family tree history. This is so important. This is so important to do. This is totally empty, this building, everyone. I mean, it's been done up, it's been maintained. <sighs> but, um... Look at this big tree. And there's there's the church. There's more lawns there. See, I could have just come out of the church. Decided to I thought it was very quiet, mind. Decided to um, just go. But this is a I mean, the weather's changing. Look at this big tree. I bet this tree could have been here when the when the um, Stutfields were here. The Phillips up must have gone. This is such brilliant footage I've got. I'm going to take some pictures over and out. Right, this is uh, really the last video I would have thought now from this part of the country. I'm on my, on my way now. Here's our porter and I near Newmarket Racetrack. We've just come down from Dulham. This is where the Stutfields used to come and bet and lose all their money. They lost it all by about 1706. Some emigrated to America, that's, you know, from scratch. And here's a lovely view, lovely view of my Alberta, of course. She's done so well, my car, my van, haven't you, Alberta? You've done really well. She really has, she's been everywhere, she's a Trojan. So this is a racehorse training area, right? You can walk on here, not when the horses are training, for obvious reasons. But down there, I'll just zoom in, it's very bright the sun today. All that is new market there. All that is new market, which I visited several times and Zara's been there with me. And we even thought about moving there once because it was cheaper housing at the time. But because we had two dogs, we we had to take what, what was offered, which was £700 bungalow a month. So that soon drained the money away. So there you go. 
This is the last video now and I've got to really get moving now. Because once the ducks for their show starts, everyone will be hitting it or ends. Everyone will be hitting the motorway. So this is Newmarket is a mixture of Suffolk and Cambridgeshire actually. We're just coming out of Cambridgeshire and part of Newmarket is Cambridge and you've got Exon and you go you go into Suffolk. Because the brooks are, are from Newmarket and Suffolk and um, Exon. St Martin's Exon, that's where the Brook family are. So we've got the Oaks at Burr Green. We've got the Stookfields at Dulham. We've got the Briggs and that at Stetchworth. And we've, we've got a mixture of um, Isaacsons and people at Burwell and Dullingham. So I'm leaving this beautiful land to head back to my beautiful Somerset with Alberta over and out. <laughs>